Hey guys, what's up? Bisected Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next base destruction video. Uh, this is number two. And uh, first and foremost, I apologize because uh, I was not able to really have any live attacks or anything. I can't even have a recap of this war just because this was a family scrimmage, uh, Genesis versus Prime. And a lot of this was just testing out bases, uh, seeing what tweaks we can make and how we can improve them. So I can't really show many people's bases because they want to keep them and use them in future wars. Uh, so basically, uh, only a, a few people really stepped forward and offered to have me show their bases. And uh, the best I can do is um, just make a base destruction video off this war and kind of cut my losses and move on because uh, I can't do a recap or anything like that just because most of the attacks I can't use. I've got to keep the bases confidential, uh, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, Big shout out to Mudbuster for stepping stepping forward and letting me use his base uh, because it, it did do very well. It survived, I think, three attacks before it was three started in the fourth one. Uh, but he went ahead and let me show it anyway. So uh, huge thanks to you, Med, uh, Mudbuster, if you're watching this. But anyway, uh, taking a look at this base, uh, the setup is it's a pretty solid base. You can see right here the main thing uh, that I like about this base is the queen is so far from the... Uh, giant bombs you have the one here the double set and the single there um, but the queen is you know uh, a good there's a good solid two compartments in between her and the uh, giant bombs and you can't even drop any quakes I don't think it's there's just really no way to get a kill squad uh, to go uh, from the double giant bombs uh, all the way to the queen unless you're just going through the entire base with like a huge kill squad or something but anyway um, and People make the mistake of trying to do that, so I'm going to show the I'm going to show the first two attacks, uh, which kind of were similar, and the third one was a d disconnection, so it doesn't really count. I won't even show it. The guy disconnected right at the beginning, but uh, the first two attacks were similar. So uh, there was a, the queen walk was a little bit different. One of them had the queen walk up top. One had the queen walk by accident when she was supposed to go in with the kill squad. Uh, but anyway. Both attacks are the same in this sense. They, they're a double jump. So there's going to be like a jump going down in this area and a jump going down in that area. Uh, or at least that was the plan for both. It, one of them kind of went wrong. But uh, there was a double jump go Vaho. So the guy sent the Valks, the King, all that stuff up there. Wizards to create the funnel. A few golems, obviously. The goal basically uh, for both attackers was in one way or another to get through, uh, trigger the double set here and then trigger the single there, uh, take out the queen up here, and then just send the hogs through here uh, with, a, with a heal for them right in this area. So that, that was kind of the goal, uh, and obviously a heal for the Valks at some point too. So that was the goal of both attackers, but the reason it didn't work that well is because you can see right here, there's a lot of space for the Valks to go one way or another. Uh, if he drops that first jump, like right, I think both both attackers drop it in this area. Um, the Valks can go into this compartment. They can go off into this compartment. Uh, they can go off this way. Um, when really the only way that the attacker wants them to go is up towards that queen where the second jump is. Uh, but the thing with Valks is um, unless there's like a strict path directing them uh, to go somewhere, it's not going to work out very well. Um, one more thing I want to note, it's a small thing, but you can see these single bombs right here. Um, that's I've been doing that on my bases, and I think that's a good thing to do. Just put the six bombs next to the wizard tower, one of your wizard towers, because all the damage added up does the same amount as a giant bomb. So it's basically like having a fifth giant bomb. And the reason you don't want to put it to kill wall breakers is because at this point, people are using a test wall breaker anyway. So you're not really getting any benefit from it. They're going to have to use that test wall breaker anyway, um, so might as well just let them do that and not have there be a single bomb. Just put all your little bombs next to a wizard tower. Get that fifth double giant, that fifth giant bomb in your base, essentially, because uh, it does work pretty effectively. And if you couple it with a wizard tower and some splash damage from the wizard tower, it can take out a big group of hogs unless they're under heal. Uh, so that's another thing to think about. But anyway, so for both attackers, we'll take a look at the first two in just a moment. The, the main thing to watch for is how the Valks don't really have a clear runway to the Queen. There's just too many places, like as shown by the green arrows, 
for them to run off to. So they, they don't get the job done. Obviously, obviously, there's a few other mistakes, like one guy's queen dies early, the other guy's queen will also dies early. Kind of a, both attacks were like that. But even if the queen had stayed up, uh, would not have gotten the job done just because uh, Mudbuster's queen is just going to be free to take out uh, the hogs once they make their way up this way because the Valks are never never going to get in there and take her out. So let's take a look at the first two attacks right now, both very similar, uh, like I said. So we are going to go into the Warlog real quick and uh, start off with... Um, Got to go in here to get it. It's at 1952. All right, uh, my name's not Rick, taken on Mudbuster. That's a SpongeBob reference. Uh, my name's not Rick, but anyway, uh, you can see he drops down the queen, and I'm not sure which way she was supposed to go. I guess she was supposed to go south and meet up with the kill squad, um, but he didn't do that good of a job creating a funnel. That one wizard went, to, or the one minion went down to a error trap. So the queen actually ends up going north here, uh, which I'm think was not to plan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was supposed to go south. But either way, she's going up north. Um, that air defense obviously is going to be a problem because the healers are going to get in range of that at some point. Uh, but right here, drops a hog down to get the CC load out. And it's a go some goblins, a dragon. Uh, pretty solid comp there just because the goblins run out in front and sometimes force the attacker to use a poison while the dragon lags behind. But Pops the queen's ability because she's getting super low. Now he doesn't have a rage for her, so as soon as her ability wears off, um, she's taking damage from the dragon, the expo, the archer tower, and that queen's going to lock onto her in just a moment as well. So obviously was planning for her to go south now that I think about it, just because doesn't have a rage or anything like that. So the, the queen goes down even with just the two-point defense on her, because uh, the expo does do quite a bit of damage. So queen goes down up north, but uh, down south has the golem, a few wizards, and drops the jump down. The jump actually doesn't extend far enough out. So you can see right here, the golem's not going to reroute back on in. It's just going to stand out there and beat on the wall. The king goes to a separate wall, um, drops the Valks in. They're going to bust through that wall. So good adjustment there. Uh, no, no need to panic at this point, really. Uh, so they make their way through the wall there. King comes back in, pops the ability. Uh, that jump is still there, but it's getting, you know, it's going to wear off at some point. Comes in with a few hogs to help out the kill squad. Uh, everything making its way through. Going for those Teslas, and then that single bomb is triggered. They'll get the double set in just a moment as well. Uh, but right here, you can see the jump wears off. Uh, his Valks are going down real quick with all those bombs and all the damage coming at them. The King went one way, the Valks went the other way, and has to drop a second jump kind of where the first one was, just because the first one ran out so quickly. So uh, finally, his King, the Valks make their way in, drops a heal, although it doesn't have a whole lot of troops in that, uh, that, that little bunch right there does have the heal, so they do make their way up, uh, but that queen's not going to hop the wall, so they're going to be in trouble there. Has the expo, a few other uh, few other defenses attacking those troops, and right here, uh, behind that lava wall, there's pretty much no chance for the Valks or the king to get in there. They go down. Uh, hogs come in up here, but it's just too little too late. Only has a heal spell and a handful of hogs for the huge portion of the base that's still left up. Uh, plus the skellies, the queen, all that stuff. So hogs go down quickly. We'll fast forward as this one is over. Uh, sorry about that. But yeah, that's going to do it uh, for this attack. Good try to my name's not Rick, but the plan just wasn't quite there. Uh, didn't go to plan. So anyway, uh, taking a look at the next attack, which was pretty similar. And uh, that did surprise me a little bit. I thought they would kind of try to reinvent the entire plan, but... Uh, it turned out just to be a similar attack, trying to tweak a few things, uh, but it didn't quite go to plan either. So we're looking at Peter taking on uh, this base again for the second time. And uh, he has a pretty similar army comp, as you can see. The two jumps, the two heals, uh, the queen king, obviously. Uh, but uh, drops down the golems. They're going to basically go up beating that wall and tank for the wizards. Uh, has quite a few wizards to create the funnel, so making sure the Valks are not going to go... Uh, either direction and go straight into the base drops a test wall breaker and then uh, the rest of them go up the the gut right there but the queen goes off to the top here and you can see she's just going to walk on up uh, pulled up by that army camp and she's going to not be able to take out the dragon so has has to do double poison on the dragon uh, but you can see that the valks the king taking a lot of damage at this point with the tesla farm there uh, even under heal they are taking quite a bit of damage 
and doesn't drop that next poison yet. So the dragon is still up doing damage to his troops. None of the wizards really followed, followed the kill squad in. And then right here, uh, like I said earlier, everything is going to make its way towards the air defense, the king altar, which is good. They're triggering the double giant bomb set, uh, but they're not going to make their way back through. They're going to start beating on that wall. They're not going to reroute back, back on in and take that jump. The queen went down as she headed north, so that dragon is still going to be up. Hasn't dropped the poison yet. I think just kind of in panic mode at this point. So that dragon is just going to destroy his king, his hogs, plus all the defenses that are still up is out of spells. Uh, just pretty much gone south uh, at this point. So uh, good attack to Peter, but he's going to uh, Peter out in just a moment as those last few hogs go down. And uh, the king Valg's kind of beat through the wall here, but the dragon is on them. Uh, so similar attacks, both of these. Uh, you can see here the Valks just really aren't meant for this base, at least at the angle uh, these two attackers tried to come in on uh, because there's just too many places for them to run to. And even, like I said, even had the queen gone in with the kill squad, the queen screwed up both these attacks in a way. But even ha if the queen had gone in, I don't think he would have gotten to the defensive queen just by the runway the Valks have. There's just too many distractions for them. They're not going to be funneled into the base well enough. Uh, so doesn't get the three star here and it came down to XM trying to clean this one up. So let's take a look in the you doodle at how XM got the job done. Okay, so XM basically says, I'm just going to forget about the first two attacks. They show me where the traps are, but I'm going to totally reinvent the plan to start from scratch. And I this is an attack you guys probably have not seen before because uh, XM always comes up with crazy stuff as you've seen in some of the recaps. So anyway, uh, basically XM's plan is to bring five golems, 20 wizards, some wall breakers, and four jump spells. And what he does essentially is comes in with three golems, uh, heroes, some wall breakers, a few wizards, uh, all in that first compartment. They get in there, take out the queen. Then he drops down a jump to let them over here. They start making their way in like a clockwise motion around the base. Has another jump right here. Comes in with his fourth golem. I'll use purple again. Comes in with his fourth golem. Uh, some wizards, some wall breakers. Busts in here. They meet up with the kill squad and continue this way. So everything kind of comes around and meets up here. Then has the fifth golem uh, for right here, I believe. More wizards, wall breakers. They meet up with the kill squad. Drops his third jump in this area. And then like his fourth jump somewhere around here. And basically they just make their way in a circle around the base. Uh, pretty crazy. No hogs, nothing like that. Just golems, wizards, uh, and wall breakers and jump spells. So crazy stuff to watch, but it worked out. He has like three golems at the end of the attack. Uh, so enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it because it was pretty, pretty darn crazy. Um, so let's get it started. XM taking out Mudbuster. Um... Got to go to the Warlog, and here we are. Okay, so as I said, uh, starts off up top here uh, with three of his golems, has the one from the CC and two of his own, backing up with wizards immediately, uh, f creating a funnel for his heroes and just getting some of that trash cleared out of the way. Drops the queen down, drops a few wall breakers. Uh, they're going to bust in right there. Everything's moving its way through. Going to drop the king in just a moment. Uh, king goes in. Everything just kind of taking out those defenses. Has a lot of tanks out in front, so no no hurry really. Uh, nothing's taking too much damage besides the golems. And uh, in just a moment, he'll drop a jump down to let the that big group of troops make their way into the next compartment. Um, I like how he's dropping the jump. You'll see in just a moment when he drops it. He's dropping it so they really have only one compartment to go into. Uh, so they're not going to split up. They're all going to stay in one group. And has the double poison for the CC troops, uh, which he drops there. The dragon will go down quickly with the w the wizards and the queen. All that damage coming at the dragon. Now it comes in with that next golem. Some wizards, a uh, few wall breakers. Going to bust that next golem in. So it's tanking for all the defenses in the area. And it's going to join up with the kill squad right here. He's going to have a jump to let uh, basically all his troops meet up on that. Uh, conjunction right there with the Teslas and everything. So Queen's still back, a bunch of wizards sitting back, doing a lot of damage. Um, comes in with the next golem at the bottom now, a few more wizards, a few wall breakers. Uh, like I said, basically just repeating this kind of clockwise deployment of his troops. Has another jump spell to let them uh, into that, basically the last few compartments right here. 
Um, his wizards has a ton of wizards still left up just because he's deployed the golems so nicely that none of the wizards have been flanked. They've all been sitting back behind the golems and uh, the queen is still up. The king did go down at one point, but still has the level 30 queen up and goes ahead and drops that last jump to let them into the final compartment. Uh, but you can see he has like three or four golems still left up. It's just crazy. And all those wizards pops the queen's ability. A few wizards for cleanup on the backside and then a swag wall breaker. But insane attack by XM. Uh, just completely negated all the defenses on this base. Obviously trying to defend against... Uh, Balloons or La Luna attacks and hogs and Valks to some extent, but uh, I haven't seen a whole lot like this before, so it was a very fun one to watch, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one as well. Uh, so let me know if you guys like this series and want me to continue uh, doing it, and hopefully, if you do, I'll be able to get it on some Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 8 bases, so a little bit more variety. So once again, I apologize for the lack of coverage of this arranged war. Uh, with Prime, but like I said, it's just kind of an opportunity for us to uh, see how our bases do and tweak them as needed. Uh, but anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys the matchup we're currently in because just a random matchup got hit up with Reddit Row, who apparently is another fair play high level war clan, so it should be a fun war. And this one I can show their bases, uh, assuming everything goes normally, so I uh, should see some live attacks and war recaps and stuff like that. But yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll come out in a few days, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.